everybody, this is my favourite story, Noah's Ark. Hope you enjoy the story. Genesis 6, verses 9 to 22. Noah was a man who did what was right and obeyed God. He had three sons, Shem, Ham and Japheth. However, everyone else was disobeying God. People were treating each other very badly. God saw that the people he had created had become very wicked and violent. God told Noah he was going to put an end to this wickedness by sending a flood to cover the earth, but Noah and his family would be spared. Noah was given instructions to build a big ark out of wood and cover it in waterproof pitch. It was to be 450 foot long, 75 foot wide and 45 foot high. It would have three decks divided into rooms and a roof with a gap underneath for air to get in. It would have one door on the side. At once, Noah and his son started to build a huge box shaped bunk. The wicked people around wondered what Noah and his sons were doing. When the ark was ready, God told Noah the flood would be coming in seven days' time. Noah and his three sons and their wives were told to take their possessions aboard for animals. They stored, they stored food for for animals coming aboard too. Seven pairs of each clean animal and bird, one male and the other female, were put into the ark. Two of every unclean animal were also taken on board. Unclean animals were those such as lizards, moles, pigs, owls, mice, ferrets and ravens. God then closed the door of the ark and the rain began to fall for 40 days and it rained heavily. The rivers burst their banks and flood waters got higher and higher. As the waters rose, the ark began to float. The waters kept rising. They covered all the high mountains, even like... Every, what? Every living... Every living creature on the land outside, the ark was wiped out. The water flooded the earth for 150 days, but those on board the ark were kept safe. As the flood water went down, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ariak. Ariak. After 40 days, Noah sent out a raven, but it found nowhere to land. Then he sent out a dove and flew around looking for land. But he could find nowhere to perch and returned to the ark. Noah reached out his hand and brought it back into the ark. Seven days later, he sent out the dove again. Later that evening, it returned with a freshly plucked leaf. No one knew the water was receding. A week later, he sent out the dove a third time, but it didn't, it did not return. No one knew that the dove had found land. Noah removed the roof of the ark and saw the land was drying out. Two months later, the land was dry enough for Noah, his family and the animals to leave the ark. Noah built a larger, an altar. An altar. An altar. The Lord to, the Lord to the Lord and made sacrifices to God. God was pleased with the offering and promised never again to destroy all living creatures. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, will never cease. God put a rainbow in the sky. God then told Noah this rainbow 
is the sign of my promise to never flood the whole earth again. We hope you enjoyed that story yeah. read by us. Yeah. We're wishing you all the best. Yes. Yeah. And we know it's a difficult time, right? Yes. Yeah. And we're all facing our difficulties. Yeah. But we know that the love of Christian yeah. love and humanity, yeah. we can get through this. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. guys. Take care. Bye-bye.